So welcome to the build tutorial for the new um, six digit Nixie clock. Um, I'm really rather proud of this. This is a new development. Um, and what we've done is we've put most of the components on the board in the factory for you. And this makes it much, much easier to build. It's a very rapid build. It only takes 10, 15 minutes. Um, and because it's been factory mounted, it's super, super reliable and super easy to use. First of all, the first step we should go through is to say what we get in the package. So you should get a, a main board. You should get some tube holders. These will depend on what you ordered, but these are for IN14 tubes. So I'm going to be putting these guys uh, in here. Um, as you see, some of them have got really short leads, but that doesn't matter because um, the tube holder boards make it easy to mount them anyway. They come later. Um, you should get a power connector. You should get two switches, six sockets to go onto the board, six LEDs. So they're actually APA 106 Neo pixels and a header strip, which you're going to have to chop up and um, put in the right places. So that's it. First of all, let's get on with the uh, first step. And for that, all we're going to need is the board and the connector. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the connector on, we're going to power it up and make sure that we're getting the right voltages out of the test points here. So I'm going to be using 0.8 millimeter solder. Um, it doesn't really matter very much. Uh, only later on when we put on the LEDs, it's a little bit uh, tricky, but even then 0 0.6, 0 0.8 or one millimeter solder is fine. Um, in general, what you should do is you should pay attention to the silk screen. So if, for example, you don't see an outline of a component, it means it doesn't go on that side. So in this case, the connector we're going to put on, well, you can see the silk screen goes there and um, yeah, then we can solder it in. Okay, and all, oops, that's a, a bit dirty. So all we're going to do is we're going to solder one pin and then I'm going to make sure that it's completely flush to the board and solder the other two. Don't need a lot of solder, but you should give it some time so that the solder flows into the connection properly. So let's now have a look what we got. Um, Is the meter. Now I'm using a 12 volt one amp power supply and what you can see is it's got a barrel jack on it and this particular one has a center positive so the bit in the middle is the positive. Um, so just to check if you can see the, the meter, let's test the voltage so 12.17 volts, it's pretty well regulated. So we pop this in. There's no signs of life um, at the moment, but what we need to do is we need to check from the ground to the five point, uh, the five volts. And there we're getting, well, pretty much bang on five volts. Perfect. The other test is to check from the ground to the high voltage. And here we should be getting 170 volts, more or less. And there we go, a little bit under, but doesn't matter. That's that step done.